Hello, everybody. This is Allie from Heart and Soul Connected, and I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to get back to you all here. It's been quite a, two, a week or so that we've all dealt with lots of crazy things, and uh, I felt it was time. I have a wonderful guest today that uh, is going to be talking about her journey, and I will introduce her to you soon. But I wanted to let you know that on Thursday of this week, I'm going to be interviewing uh, Danny Shea from uh, Bathrobe Tarot, and it will be 10 a.m. Pacific time. So please come by and join us. I would love to see you all, and you can ask questions and reach out to us uh, while we're here. And, um, and uh, soon I will introduce you to uh, my guest, Debbie Yem. We'll be here very soon. And um, I hope to see you on Thursday morning as well. Three. All right. <laughs> All right. So everybody, I'm back. And this is my, it is my pleasure to introduce to you uh, my friend Debbie Yem from Missouri, who I'm pleased to be able to talk to today. We have known each other, never met, but known each other for 13 years, Thir 13 years. That's a long time. I would, I, I would think so. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. The only thing yeah. I do want to mention on this recording is that both of us, both Debbie and I, I'm do, I'm dealing with weather, rain issues, and she lives in a rural area. So if we have some, oh wow, if we have some spotty, um, you know, uh, bumps in the road, you'll know why. But we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So yeah. So okay. I wanted. To, Let's go. I wanted to. Have have Deborah talk a little bit about there's a community I've talked about it before um that was called Zad Z A A D Z which means seeds and we belong to it um, we both signed on to it separately for different reasons although similarly the same and I want to talk a little about Deb a bit about Debbie's experience there and also how she united her belief system with what we were finding in that community. So I'm gonna let you talk for a while. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I learned about Zods from the back page of Science of Mind magazine, which I had a subscription to. Mm -hmm. And I had actually, I was uh, already familiar with The Secret and um, had joined a community called Powerful Intentions, but they just didn't really resonate with it. Uh -huh. So I thought, well, this is another community. You know, I liked the way it was presented and what the people were saying about it. So I thought, eh, I'll go check it out. Immediately, I felt like I belonged. I think one of my first friends was uh, PJ Star. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. immediately she tried to put me to work. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that um, like so... <laughs> Yeah. And so um, mm -hmm. as I became acquainted and, you know, kind of felt my way around the community, I realized that my philosophy that I had been a part of for probably a couple of decades by then, let's see, I'm thinking it's, it started for me in the 1970s and mm -hmm. I went to Zod's in 2007. So I had already been in this philosophy for quite some time. I had actually gone to a church in St. Louis that was based in this philosophy. My minister actually had studied under the founder, Ernest Holmes. Okay. So, um, so this was important to me, but I didn't find that there was anything about it going on as odds. So I thought, okay, well, I'll try to create my own group, which I yeah. did. And did. Um, ultimately... I, uh, one of the people that was my early uh, moderators was your sister-in-law, Sue, whose mm -hmm. uh, husband was your brother, and right. he was a science of mind practitioner. So, yeah. you know, yeah. in that way, we're sort of linked, you and I. Absolutely. And also, um, you and Keith had a room, I believe, at Zad's, um, where yeah. we could go and get together like like-minded people so you know we've been <laughs> we've been down the road a bit with each other but yeah. anyway I did find you know that I began to attract people other people who studied and practiced metaphysics which is what science of mind really is 
Science right. of mind is different than the secret in that really what it's, Ernest Holmes often said he would rather people practice the philosophy than repeat all the words that had ever been written to practice it in their life and see the results. Right. And when I was in St. Louis at that church, I had started practicing. And in the course of that practice, I wanted a brand new car. And so I started entering contests for a sports car. Good for you. At some point I entered a second car. I, <laughs> I was like really focused on this particular sports car, right? But at some point I entered a second contest for another sports car. And then I thought, oh my God, I've, I've muddled up my manifestation. <laughs> I, had, I was troubled. Like, <laughs> could I let someone I was dating drive this car? Um, what about the insurance? You know, all these yeah. thoughts, you know, kind of like <laughs> doubts started coming yeah. in. Yeah. And out of the blue, my maternal grandmother calls and says, I want to buy you a car. I just wanted a brand new car that no one else had ever owned that I mm -hmm. had um, the funny thing about that is she had a condition, no car mm -hmm. radio. Oh no. <laughs> All cars on the lot have a radio, which meant I had to custom order <laughs> the car, <laughs> get less of a car just to not get a radio. But Hey, you know, I wasn't complaining. Then, um, oh, no. I wanted to, I was going to bars, you know, like a lot of single people and I wasn't meeting mm -hmm. people who. I really could, you know, get serious about not even at church. I wasn't really meeting anybody that was just right. So we were, uh, the church sent us to uh, a Jack Canfield seminar. And mm -hmm. there I learned uh, to be more confident. And then I, we had a singles workshop at the church. And so I said to God, I said, well, if there was really a right person for me, I would get married again. Oh. Well, I put an ad in an entertainment weekly in St. Louis called the Riverfront Times. Uh -huh. My husband who didn't live in St. Louis, but happened to get that issue, happened to respond to my eligibles ad, and now we've been married over 30 years. So those are just a couple of things that practicing yeah. the philosophy. Yeah. yeah, meaning we take charge of our life. That's all. We take responsibility mm -hmm. for our life. We try to get clear about mm -hmm. what it is that we want, mm -hmm. because a lot of pe times people think they want something, but they're really not clear about it. Like the car, you know, mm -hmm. I wanted yeah. a car, but as I began to explore that there were issues and that's what happens. And mm -hmm. when you don't get what you are trying to manifest, you learn from that too. Why didn't it happen? What was going on inside of me? So. I began to share this philosophy at Zads in this group I called Living Metaphysics mm -hmm. and trying to just share, you know, my life. And that's what I've been doing ever since. Even now on Facebook, I still do the same thing. I, I share my everyday life and how I respond to it. Not because I've got, what do you call it? I don't have a corner on perfect life okay my life isn't perfect it has challenges but oh, i can sure. get through the challenges better because of my faith sure. and my faith is not a dogma it's a personal relationship with my soul with my creator you know whatever one might want call want to call that so mm -hmm. um well, I don't know where to go next with this. Well, what, what I do want to make sure that, that the listener knows or understands is that we're not talking about Scientology because there's a lot of mis, you know, mistakes. Oh, yes. This is called Science of Mind. And it, Ernest Holmes, says Debbie mentioned, was the founder. And he founded it in, I want to say the 30s. I think it was the 30s or the 40s, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. And he's written several books. Um, and, and of course, he's not alive anymore, but they are still out there and still viable yeah. and wonderful. And there, are, and there are plenty of churches. Um, what I remember liking about Science of Mind was when the first time I walked into um, a, a sanctuary, I guess, 
Um, I saw um, I saw quotes from Albert Einstein and quotes from the Dal uh, the Dalai Lama and quotes from the Bible and quotes from the Quran and I mean what it is is it's really a lot to do with humanism. It really does. I mean it it asks you yeah. to take lots of and realize how close they all are and how that works. And of course, then it got sort of got married with um, the manifestation groups. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so, the threads that com that connect. The, the threads that absolutely. connect. In fact, what Zads did for me, pushed me to other religions and philosophies, oh. Buddhism, Hinduism, um, yep. Oh, Ken Wilber, whatever his yeah, thing is yeah. called. I didn't ever quite, I didn't ever quite fit in with them. I didn't fit in with them. <laughs> but, but anyway, yeah. yeah. But you know, but but there was a, a broad uh, diversity of philosophies and perspectives. And by being exposed to all these, in fact, it was at Zad's that I encountered uh, Abraham Hicks. Mm -hmm. And actually a friend of mine had told me about Abraham Hicks. And I found out it was channeling. I said, oh, no, no, no. I, I don't want to have anything to do with that. You know, uh, that's yeah. that's just scares yeah. me, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when I actually encountered it at Zad's, I began to see it's the quality of what is said. It doesn't right. matter who says it or how they right. say it. Um, for yeah. instance, uh, through Science of Mind, I have now come to appreciate uh, a man who got his start there who is the Reverend Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith. Mm -hmm. And he eventually, he started at, Sci at, at Science of Mind and in the, in the organization, but he eventually started his own community. Um, it's uh, mostly online now. It's huge, it's global. Right. And this is what he teaches, empowerment. Right. Um, he empowers people to believe in their life, to believe in themselves, to know that they're capable of more then their limited self uh, confidence would make them believe. And right. so, you know, it still is there in my life uh, in a somewhat different way. I watch his yeah. once a week. I watch him on live stream in the archives, but you know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so that's my sort of dose of positivity every week. Yeah. And actually, you know, we've been through some difficult times in this country. Right. And and it's sort of I get to a low point before I watch his weekly sermon and then it kind of boosts me back up and I can make it through another week, you know, um, and and so, yeah. you know, that's kind of how it's got me through everything. Well, I believe that there are a lot of people out there um, that are part of this community that are in rural areas of Tennessee um, and of um, Texas and a few other places and probably even Missouri that come to 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 get some sustenance, so to speak, from this globe, this uh, YouTube community, and they really, really need it, like you do, because they're in a, a maybe yeah. what I would call a negative area, but you're a point of light there, and you're carrying the light in that neighborhood, whether anybody else recognizes it or not. You're the the beacon, really. Right. Um, yeah. And that's. I have. A, I actually uh, think of it as being a frequency holder. Yes, I agree. With I'm you. a frequency holder here, you know, uh -huh. and uh, yes, I'm really familiar with Tennessee. I've known people there. My family, actually, I know now my mom's family came from Tennessee and mm -hmm. Arkansas. Um, and then let's see, mm -hmm. Texas. I grew up in Texas. You know, <laughs> I've kind of been in the midst of, yeah. you yeah. know, not the most yeah. liberal, uh, progressive areas of the country, but I've learned how to get along. Yeah you know, um, how to live yeah. in community with people who I don't necessarily agree with. And we need so much more of that, actually. Oh, we do. Um, we definitely know. do. But it really does make a difference whether, whether people are able to see that visually or not. Just to know that that energy is there, it's uplifting that area in some way. And I, you know, maybe there's one or two others that are right near you somewhere that you don't even know that are doing the same thing. And I really love that you're a frequency holder. And, and so 
when I'm talking with different guests about what they have found, everybody has a different path, but I'm finding that everybody's path sort of comes together at a point. And, you know, that could be frequency holder, light worker, um, you know, a psychic medium, whatever, or even just a curious student, you know, because I think we all are students. Yeah, there's a lot of terms. Yeah, there are. Yeah. But they're well, all going One of towards... these people, yeah, is about um, 40, 45 minutes north of me in, uh -huh. a, in a, a different county. Uh -huh. It's my yoga, yoga teacher. My yoga teacher, okay. her studio is full of this most wonderful, positive energy. We oh. go in there and we leave with a smile on our face. Oh, sure. And so I know she's another one of those. Of course, you know, sure. I, I followed her when she moved from one studio to another farther north, but it was worth it because she does for me in my weekly yoga classes, the same thing. Oh, and sure. she, yeah were kind of within because some people think yoga is some kind of demon oh, yeah. practice or something i don't know no, no, but, I hope not. but you know i mean but she does the namaste at the end you know and yeah. and, and and she it's actually community. yeah it's your community oops we got a little bit of a hold here hang on okay okay go ahead yeah <laughs> yeah well you know, different people have different gifts. So I'm a writer and uh, mm -hmm. she's a yoga teacher and she also sees auras. So one time she told me what color she saw for me and I was like, whoa, I, I never knew, <laughs> you know, cause I don't see them, you know? So, uh, you know, wow. I'm glad to have that connection with somebody who's got a good heart and you can feel yeah. it when you're around them, you know? It keeps, it keeps you connect, feeling connected, not so lost out there all by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Or alone. Yeah. Not yeah. so alone. There isn't alone. The, uh, it's funny you mentioned the aura pictures. I had remember having an aura picture taken of myself where I could see it. And it, we, they took one before we meditated and they took one after we meditated. And it was astounding, the difference in my aura. You could just see such a huge difference. It expanded? But it, was, it did. It was, and it was wider and it was you know, it was more halo-ish, I guess. It looked like I, but the first time it wasn't bad, but I looked less energized, I guess. And the second one really showed the energy from the difference of, of, of meditating. So it's really fun. It really is if you get a chance. Yeah, that's really cool. I, actually, um, when I first saw Kirlian photography, yeah. where you see the energy, Yep. That's when I actually began to believe in energy. And this was way back, but I was living in St. Louis and mm -hmm. my boss was having these terrible headaches. So one day I and pull, pull that balled up energy away from you and her headache went away. So she called it my voodoo. And I was like, it's not voodoo. <laughs> Your then energy they was them. just all, you know, balled up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I you know, they you, know you have to kind of, mm -hmm. yes, you have to meet people where they are. Absolutely. You know, yeah. at the level that they're at, where they are, um, and, and try to, luckily I, I can sense people you know, mm -hmm. not like I don't read them telepathically, you know, but I can sense them. Yes. Uh, and uh, in fact, though, you know, I did have once a weird experience. I was yeah. in the doctor's office and I could have swore that the nurse said something to me. And I, I answered and she said, why did you say that? I said, well, you asked me or, or something like that. She goes, I didn't say anything. <laughs> so I was like, whoa, <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. The only time in my life it ever happened. Okay. So, uh -huh. so don't think anything about that, but you know, yeah. but really you have to try to feel where people are you do. and not push yep. them beyond their comfort level because you don't help them that way. Right. You don't help no, them I, that way, but you I shouldn't hide agree. your light. Yeah, <laughs> I completely agree. Yeah. And, um, as a matter of fact, I wanted you to know that we have, we're starting to have monthly manifestation meetings um between my oh. my channel and another uh lilac lantern tarot channel and we're going to be meeting again okay. on the 19th and last time we met there was a group of people and we all were trying to get all those truckers home that were stuck in 
New York. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. What am I talking about? They were in England and they were stuck. There were thousands yes. of trucks stuck. It was just because of because of the problems yeah. with Brexit. Yes, with Brexit and the, and the breakdown. Yeah, and it wasn't 24 yeah. hours, and we had those trucks. We all worked on it. I so remember it nice they afternoon. they were they were stalled, and they they started moving. Absolutely. They did. Yeah. Asked um, them to get them home. For I Christmas. actually. <laughs> I actually do believe in tarot, tarot readings, but the readings are what you interpret and the Absolutely. interpretation comes from within you. The images Correct. just help you connect with yeah. whatever's wanting. Yep. Yeah. You know, so I, I do one once a month at the beginning of the month with a online site. And yeah. I, for the energies for this month. Mm -hmm. no, no big deal. There's uh, some great readers that are part you know, of just my get, friendship get group them. here. And one of them on here is called Lilac Lantern. She lives in, um, actually lives up in Ontario. Uh -huh. And there's another guy I'm interviewing on Thursday, Danny okay. Shea. And he's called the Bathrobe Tarot. And he's from, um, but they've been doing a lot of reading about <laughs> what's going on I love in it. the country. Yeah. They've been reading about Trump and what's going on yeah. and all that up more and so they just do it every once in a while so we're all trying to get and they've been dead on about so much of this it's it's really quite interesting yeah yeah but nine more days <laughs> make it. nine more days nine more days <laughs> i just i just thought today about that song there's got to be a morning after <laughs> yes absolutely uh, <laughs> yes i you know so if it's you, been a wild ride <laughs> I know. Have you been, um, could you recommend for anybody who doesn't know anything about uh, science of mind uh, off the top of your head, um, what they might, what literature they might look into or, or maybe even getting the magazine? Okay, the magazine. Yeah, make, yeah, the magazine is great because okay. the magazine is modern. The, yeah. the magazine is modern. You know, Ernest Holmes came out of a different time. Uh, mm -hmm. a very Christian background. Nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. Right. In fact, my first time in my science, of they described Jesus as a way shoulder, way shower, uh -huh. not a savior, not, yep. you know, a way shower, him, you know, he showed the, greatest... the way to live. Yep. And, and it's very right. true. If you look at his words. Yep. Absolutely. So yep. the magazine, the, the magazine is more modern. Um, they are very much into diversity, mm -hmm. justice, equality. Um, but I love, they have daily guides every month. I read right. the daily guides first thing every morning to set a yeah. perspective the for the day. day. Yeah. And often yeah. the words are like very, very important. Like uh, today, uh, there was something about possibility. You've got possibility, but it's different than probability. And uh -huh. I kind of really needed that because of, what, of the craziness that's going on in my region. Right. <laughs> um, I needed to be reminded that, yes, okay, anything is possible, but the probability of what were sparking people's fears down here. There was a lot of right. fear energy, which, yeah. you know, I don't agree with. Um, mm -hmm. And so when I read this about possibility and probability, which I had seen before, but it was in the daily so guide and I was like, so yeah. perfect for me today, you know, this is what I needed yeah. to remember. So I would yeah. recommend the magazine. Now there are lots of science of mind. I mean, there's a textbook, um, it's fine. Um, there are, you know, um, he had so many, you know, uh, I, he did. I, I, I would look and try to find some, but. Oh, That's uh, a like living the science of mind. You know, there's, there's like, but the magazine, I think the magazine is where I got started. Well, yeah, I think that's the where magazine, you, can dip my, your toes, you can dip your toes in a bit and then decide if you want to follow through with anything else, maybe. Yeah. And they have a, a both a, a print and a digital subscription. So, oh, you know, do. you don't have to get, I get the, I like the print magazine because I read it in the bathroom. <laughs> and I don't, my phone doesn't work here. So that wouldn't, that wouldn't work for me. But, right. you know, the reason I, I really am strong on the magazine is 
I was introduced to it by my mom. She mm -hmm. found it in her dentist's office. Right. In my 20s, I was going through like a spiritual awakening with no mentor. Mm -hmm. And it was, I was troubled. Uh, I, I was confused. I didn't know what was going on with me. And I ended up back at my parents' house. I'd already been out of their house. <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, she had the shelf full of magazines and she didn't know what to do to help me. And so she pointed at the shelf. She said, pick one, anyone, open it to any page. It'll help you. <laughs> it will. And, and I think that does work. I, it's like a tarot card in a way, isn't it? <laughs> you get the message you're supposed to get. All right. So she's frozen up there. Hang on, everybody. Okay, well, I want to thank Debbie for coming today. This has been a very great conversation and I will be back with you soon, sooner than later next week. Thank you.